time. Hey, hey. Right on time. How are you? Outstanding. Uh, I'm Michael Carroll, and for over a year I've been climbing stair streets in New York City for fun and for physical therapy. I had a stroke just about three years ago, and we're doing this as a benefit for adaptability. They provide um, mobility for disabled kids. Uh, they actually provided an, ad an adaptive tricycle for me. We're gonna climb the Joker stairs, then we'll walk over to the high bridge, which is uh, generally uphill getting there. When we get to Manhattan, we'll climb an additional 96 steps to get up into High Bridge Park. And at the end, we'll have done two sets of stairs and walked two miles. I met Michael probably like three years ago, and uh, at this point, he's not just a regular at my restaurant. We've become really good friends. We hang out all the time. We go to lunch just about every week. He just inspires me to keep moving, no matter what. Nothing ever stops him. Onward. Onward? Yeah. Yes. He's worked really hard. One of the people here today, uh, she ran the uh, rehab unit at Brooklyn Methodist Hospital when I was a patient there. So she was in charge of all the physical and occupational therapy that I got. So in Michael's case, he had to learn how to completely feed himself again, dress himself, bathe himself, and as the occupational therapist, that was my main focus with him, um, along with a few of my counterparts, to get him to be able to be as independent as possible. This stairway uh, was featured in the film Joker in 2019, and the title character does a dance on the stairs. And ever since then, it's become discovered. And somehow ended up on the Bronx's tourist trail. It's 132 steps, and it's a great climb. I'm very inspired by what Michael's been able to do with the help from a lot of different people. Um, no. no. I know he's working really hard. Do the rocking stance, yes, Michael! Woo the High Bridge is the oldest bridge in, the, in New York City. It opened in 1848, and it was built to carry the Croton Aqueduct from the Bronx to Manhattan. And onward to the High Bridge. No, I've been saying I've wanted to walk the High Bridge for years. I grew up in New York City. You know, Mike's giving me that chance now to not just walk it, but you know, to share his insights. And this is really special. His determination is what made it miraculous and beautiful to watch him recover from what he has had to endure. So I'm so proud and so honored to be here with him. Me and these two gentlemen, we met back in 1999-ish, uh, Brooklyn TA, and we've known each other a long time. Some of the oldest friends I have in New York City. It's, it's great to see new friends, co-workers, um, old friends joining me for this. 